Our last stop in the episode is here at Chaumette Vineyards and Winery in St. Genevieve County. They're known for their award-winning restaurant and we're gonna get into the kitchen with Chef Rob Beasley. Let's go. Here at Chaumette, aside from the incredible view to wake up to every day, because I'm fortunate enough to be able to live here as well, um, is the opportunity to work with some great ingredients, to see the wine uh, from the grapes being grown, to being made, to being bottled, to consuming it, to tasting it throughout the process. Um, and then to take uh, some of the great produce that is available in the summer and some of the beautiful proteins that we're able to get. And a lot of it is coming you know, from within 20, 30 miles of us. Uh, so that right there alone is, is a huge appeal for me. Food and wine definitely are a match made in heaven. We use uh, a lot of wine in cooking. The better the ingredient we start with, the easier it is to make a, a great product. And here we're able to grow really nice grapes and we do put a lot of love and care into the production of it and to the wine. And same with the food. So putting them together is a balance of we may need a little more acid from the wine to help offset the chicken and brighten it up without using so much sodium. And we may need the tannins, you know, from maybe the Norton to wake up the filet to cut through some of the fat so you don't have the mouth feel. There are certain basic pairings that make sense, uh, you know, from a culinary standpoint. Um, but at the end of the day, you need to drink Drink what you like and enjoy. So now we're here in the kitchen and you're going to be making a Moroccan chicken dish. Where do you get your chickens again? Uh, these chickens come from Lad's Family Farm. And you use a lot of local meat and produce and cheeses too. We do. But you said that when the farmers are actually bringing stuff to you, they'll right. ask you what you're going to do with it and you're like, oh. Yeah, a lot of times we truly don't have an idea until we get it, you play with it. Sometimes we order stuff we've never even heard of, and then we'll get it, taste it, touch it, feel it, smell it, and cook it. It's a real taste of Missouri. I mean, it's like the fruit for the wines are grown right out here, and all the produce and meats are grown within like 25, Literally. 30 miles. Literally. Awesome. Well, let's see how the chicken comes together. All right, well, fantastic. These have been in brine for two days. We use our Chardonnay wine and uh, a lot of citrus and herbs from our herb garden. So we'll brine it uh, for a couple days. And then uh, we have our own little spice blend that we make up. Has everything from turmeric to cardamom to cinnamon to allspice to cloves. And we'll coat it really heavy because it's gonna be handled a fair amount. Uh, it's gonna get roasted in the oven. And then uh, for our guests, so that you don't have to fight with the bones or whatever, uh, we prefer to take all the bones out. And then we will use these bones uh, for a second stock. Absolutely. Never throw your bones away. That's right. So what are you going to pair with this? I'm going to grab uh, some vegetables and potatoes, and then that's what we'll serve it with. Cool. We have some zephyr, we have some gold bars, we have some zucchini, some bells. And so all we've done is just slightly season them, toss them in a little roasted garlic olive oil, uh, roasted them off. I like to take some kind of greens and just wilt them in there. It'll also get finished off with our roasted chicken stock poured around it. So you're using Chardonnay from the brine to the sauce, pair it up. I mean, this is like wine yeah, all the way through. All the way through from beginning to end, definitely. I love it. Now, I heard that you have an outdoor kitchen up the hill, is that right? We do. We, uh, we do a lot of weddings and a lot of events up the hill, and uh, we can go up there and we'll, uh, we'll cook at the barn. So we're now in your outdoor kitchen. This is an actual like wood-fired grill and wood-fired oven that you have up right. here. Yeah, this is a live kitchen. We uh, produce a lot of food out of this small little space. And it's hot. I mean, <laughs> this is an entire bed of coals. It's warm. Yes, it is. And you're going to do your pork chop? Yes, we are. We're going to do the pork chop that's on the menu. Uh, the pork chop that we're using right now is kind of a cross between Red Waddle and Berkshire. Um, and the spice rub that we're using is a toasted coriander. It has a little bit of salt, pepper, some a touch of smoked paprika as well. Nice. Uh, just a little hint of allspice that would be hard to really pick up. So we kind of like to crust it up a little bit. We'll throw it on our grill, and then we'll finish it off in the wood-fired oven. And then after, we'll pull it out to rest to do the vegetables and then deglaze it with some of the wine. All of this looks so amazing. You want to head back down to the tasting room and pair some wine? Grab some wine. That's All right. Fine. That's the best part. So 
So we're in the tasting room to taste some wines because that's what you do in the tasting room. And we're looking at a lot of different wines. Can you kind of tell me what we're gonna taste? Well, I think we should probably start off with our own oak Chardonnay. Okay. And it's a great food wine. Mm -hmm. It's not oaks, so I prefer it for food. I love this wine. It's so good. Light and bright and lots of citrus and really good acidity. All right, next is our assemblage. And that's made with the chamberson grape as well, but it's blended with our Chardonnay. And this is our port. Missouri makes beautiful ports. Is this a Norton port? Mm -hmm, this is. I'm so glad this is my job. <laughs> <laughs> as beautiful and amazing as your food That's is, right. oh. get a bottle of Chamet wine, sit in front of the fire, eat all these beautiful... That's right, I do it at least once a week. I'm sure, <laughs> of course you do. 